what an amazing week we've just had on YouTube. Call out to, I mean, Angie Speaks for really starting a lot of the discussion from what I can understand here. A non-compete for doing that vlog together, which really kicked off this conversation. Peter Coffin, Thought Slime, everyone just getting in together to talk about our mission, or at least like how we can contribute to this revolution, to the work needed to change our society, which of course is incredibly huge and continuous, never ending, as we know. It's been, it's been inspiring in a, in a really big way uh, to just get back on and just start creating again. And this is obviously a pretty low effort way of doing that, just saying, oh, I'm checking in. And... But yeah, 2019 is now right around the corner. And I mean, I won't say it with, <laughs> uh, with the vitriol or the panic or the fear in my voice as I had that earlier, but things are not going well for our species, our society, our politics, you know, um, democracy is just, I mean, I sit here wearing a shirt that, you know, parodies the Australian government's ridiculous potential law on genuine satire days after they've passed this horrific law on information security, which is going to have far reaching effects for people like me who work in information security and our Australian citizens are now subject to these incredibly worrying laws when it comes to being able to invade people's privacy and do so through me without me being able to question it or challenge it and you know, even defend myself against it. Really, it's quite concerning, but just part of a larger trend of what we're seeing with governments in general, but of course, in all state, these Western governments, you know, these five eye governments, Australia, Canada, United Kingdom, New Zealand, and Australia. Did I say America? I'm not sure if I said Australia or America. I get the two confused so much because I live between them so often. Regardless, these, these governments that are obviously seeing that people are unhappy with the way that things are going in their society, but can't provide any solutions to that. So they're clamping down, you know, they're becoming these police states. And America is a very physical thing with their police force. In Australia, it's more of a sub subversive sort of thing because they're so already ingrained in the culture, in owning the culture, that they can just pass through these laws and no one even bats an eye. Regardless, you know, to, to name everything that's going on in our society right now, this impossible but to get back to what i was talking about with these with these leftist youtubers how we approach these problems and how we work against them is going to be through well in many different facets you know and and most importantly the the real the real in life conversations that we have ways that we try to make people understand the society they live in you know like all the way down to voting and engaging the political systems that we are trapped inside of but on a more broader sense let's talk about you know, posting and canvassing. I think it was, I think it was non-compete. Um, I'm just doing this on the fly and it's been a busy week. I just got off a, you know, 24 hour flight. Sorry if I get any references wrong, but anyway, we're here on the web as the left and we need to be canvassing. We need to be working against the efforts of, you know, the right, the center, the, these forces that are going to re in force the status quo, this ownership of capital, this ownership of society, this ownership of us and our labor and, and everything that it produces by the few who are only really interested in pursuing a world that allows them to accumulate more at a time when those sort of policies are really risking the stability of our societies and the survival of our species. So that's we're at, you know, no, no better than where we were before. Uh, obviously further down a more concerning path. Um, but I'm back once again, online posting a little bit and thinking about how I can do more substantive work, uh, more work that really honors that of these great channels, these great leftist channels that produce such quality content that can really be used to educate people and transform their ideas. So I'm back in Australia. Um, the big news in my previous vlog was that 
you know, the board of the company that I worked at in America authorized me to open an Australian company that allowed me to move back. Um, since then, you know, uh, since then I've gotten engaged, which is fantastic and just so exciting uh, to an American woman, of course. So this really calls into question where I'll be living uh, in the future. Uh, for the next year, it will be between Australia and America, really traveling quite a bit um, and having these times when I'm back in Perth, you know, away from my future wife, away from that life back there um, and living a life here where I, I work very hard. Uh, I work a lot um, and is where a genuine amount of time, my time and effort and energy goes. Uh, that results in you know a really solid salary, so I do reinvest that, of course, back into back into our community through Patreon. But the cost of that work while I'm here is I work during the day, I work during the night. But in those times between, obviously, I want to be focusing on bettering myself, on bettering the work that I'm doing for our cause. Uh, you know that will that will mean both. Physically, you know, and working on my health, going to the gym as I've been doing previously, but when I was back in Australia, I need to return to, you know, eating well, um, mentally sleeping as much as I can because it is really quite, quite difficult to work those two shifts four days a week. Um, it's quite taxing on the mind, so getting sleep is very important for mental health. Um, you know, reducing consumption of the things that we consume to try to get through it. Um, and increasing my my posting, I guess, and my, my contributions back to the internet and to this discussion of and continued praxis towards our revolution and towards building a society which truly understands the dangers and the pitfalls of of our you know this capitalist system, this system of control and centralization and privatization of wealth, and imagining and like really just <laughs> coming up with actual ideas, solutions to what, what our new world will be. And I think Peter Coffin called out very, very well in, uh, in his last post just about how we need to be creating these alternative societies. Of course, we know this is much of much from the left, know that this is a big part of being on the left is creating alternative systems and structures to these invalid systems and structures that are inherent under capitalism, these hierarchies of power, uh, these centralization systems of power. But I think that's going to have to happen through discussion and at this point in time, you know, through memes and through posting, through creation of content. So here I am just creating a little check-in, December 12th, 2018, um, and thinking about, thinking about the next video that I'll create uh, that'll be more in line with the anarchist economic values that I previously uploaded. I'll chuck a link on here when I figure out how to do that because I need to get better at editing videos and stuff. Um, just shout out to everyone out there. Just, you know, uh, the best solution to the despair that you're feeling, you know, the real troubles that you're going through in your life, um, obviously is going to be dependent on, on your circumstances and what you can do. But I, I, I cannot more highly recommend just educating yourself, discovering, um, what is out there. People are out there who are discussing these issues, discussing the society and what it is and, I'm trying to do more with my channel, so you know, click around if you are here and you've got a minute. Um, check out my channel's front page, I've, or sidebar even. I've linked to some really important channels that are producing fantastic content. Um, and I'll try to make some more digestible playlists as well that kind of go over a lot of these, a lot of these things that can really help you with understanding where we're at and uh, where we where we can possibly go from here uh, in this in this age of uh, very late stage capitalism. So that's it for me. I'm going to sign off. Uh, thanks very much.